Hey everyone, and welcome to the Marketing 101 podcast for small business owners. I am your host, Philippa Channer of Channer Consulting, and I am excited to bring to you today my top three recommended, recommended marketing books for small business owners. In the last quarter of 2021 and well into 2022, I've been focused on growth, not just how to grow my business financially, but how to grow and develop the quality of what I'm offering my clients. While making money is vital to growth today, the core behind my motivation to grow was to see my clients excel in their own businesses. Their growth meant my success, and that was the most important thing to me. Now, to experience this growth, I needed to expand not only the amount of content and education I received, but the variety and depth of the information I was consuming. While Channer Consulting offers primarily marketing-focused services, a big deal of our marketing plan development involves business strategy and planning. I began to realize that I could not just focus on learning more about marketing and marketing trends, but I also needed to learn more about other aspects of building and running a business. This is where my journey to building a more robust library of resources began. So today I'll share with you four key books that really helped to propel my vision and outlook on starting, running, and ultimately selling your business. There are four books I highly recommend to anyone that is considering starting a business, has recently launched a business, or has been running their own business for some time now. No matter where you are on your business journey, these books will help reshape your thoughts and creativity on how you approach your business. Now, the first list, the first book on my list today is The Ice Maker by Subair Chowdhury. The Ice Maker, The Ice Cream Maker, is an inspiring tale about making quality the key ingredient in everything you do. Rather than take you through a step-by-step instructional and guidance on how to incorporate quality into your business, Charity accomplishes this through the art of storytelling. The entire book is told through the eyes of the owner of Dairy Cream, a local ice cream manufacturer who needs to get local grocery stores to shelve and sell their ice cream in in order to make a profit. There are several internal issues centered around quality that the business is experiencing and needed to address before they could see any growth and get the key customers they were seeking. He encounters a long-term, long-time acquaintance who recognizes the quality issues that they are facing and instructs them on the steps he needs to take to overcome the issues the company is facing. Their dialogue and the experiences that provided offer several invaluable concepts and thought processes any business owner and entrepreneur should learn on, learn to keep to help improve the level of quality of their products, their services, and their internal processes and culture. If you're feeling like the quality of any aspect of your business could use a fresh kick in the butt to level up, you will learn everything you need to know in The Ice Cream Maker. Now, Built to Sell by John Warlow Warlow (laughs) is the next book on my list as it helps us to create businesses that can thrive without us in the center of it. Can you imagine what your business would be like if you got injured or had a loss in the family, which required taking off a significant amount of time to grieve, recover, or just adjust. If your business will completely shut down without your direct involvement, then you need to check out this book. This is another book that delivers an impactful message through storytelling. You follow Alex Stapleton. He's an owner of a marketing firm that at the beginning of the story is operating on a month to month basis and desperately rely on big checks coming in from a handful of clients that they depend to stay that they depend on to stay afloat. At the same time, Alex realizes that he also wants to sell the company but doesn't know where to start. He connects with an associate that he knows that is experienced with purchasing and selling companies for help on where to start. He learns step by step how to transform his business from worth next to nothing to worth more than five million dollars in, in just over a year. There are significant steps explained throughout the journey that really detail how to turn your business into a system that can not only operate and function without your constant involvement, but also be repeatable and expandable, which are very attractive features for any investor or buyer. Whether or not you're considering selling your business at this time, the day will come one day, and it's vital that you start to fine-tune your business process now rather than try to rush and make it happen in a company that has a history of patterns that may be impossible to break without losing key personnel. 
the next book on my list that changed my perspective of businesses and the services I offer, um, at least how I communicate my services, is Obviously Awesome by April Dunford. Dunford teaches us how to nail product service or product or service positioning so customers get what you are selling, buy it, and also love it. Do you ever feel like you can hear a pin drop when you try to explain what your product or service is and how it's valuable? Chances are you're missing something in how you're positioning your service to your audience. She walks you through 10 steps to understand and creating a position statement, positioning statement for your business or for a key product or service you offer. There is nothing worse than trying to communicate your services or product and having them not understand what you're speaking about. If this has happened to you before, then Obviously Awesome is a must read for you. Obviously Awesome helps you to understand your audience, understand your product and how to communicate the details in a value, details and the value of it in a way that connects and resonates with your key audience members. And my final recommendation for leveling up your business in 2022 is Find Your Red Thread by Tamsin Webster. Before you can prepare your positioning statement, you need to do the work of making your big idea irresistible to the right audience. The red thread is a great way to capture the already invisible thread that exists between our idea and our audience and helps us make the connection in a way that provides actionable, actionable solutions to the problems your idea is designed to fix. We all have an idea, a vision, and a purpose for our company, and we know the, its value, but sometimes communicating that value and the process to making it work can be tricky. So through several illustrations and actionable steps to take, Webster guides us through the process of discovering our red thread and developing a way to communicate its powerful potential to our audience's minds and their hearts. All right, now these four books alone can help set your business up for success in 2022. From improving quality with the ice cream maker to creating a business that's built to sell, then creating powerful position statements with Obviously Awesome, and lastly, finding the red thread of our ideas and communicating them clearly. With these changes, you can improve your business and the chances of landing the clients your product is perfect for. I highly suggest you check out these resources and invest some time into reading them each. I have provided links for each of the books I recommend uh, in the description below. And if you pick up one and find it's a very valuable resource for your business, we would love to hear about it and how it's changed your perspective. I want to leave you today with an invitation to schedule a free consultation session with me to see how we can improve the quality of your small business marketing in 2022. If you haven't had your first session yet, schedule it now. I can't wait to get to know you and your business better. Until then, you guys have a great day. Thanks for listening. Um, if you haven't already, please do make sure to subscribe to this podcast wherever you're listening to it and leave any feedback you can. Greatly appreciate it. Have an awesome week.